Imagine hopping on to the back of a 1,500 pound bull and then literally trying to hold on for dear life. Well, if you're sane like the rest of us, you're probably not going to give it a go. Instead, you'll do the not so insane thing and check out the biannual bull blowout and watch the professionals handle the beefy animal with horns. On a serious note though, the bull blowout is a finely tuned machine with professionals at every turn. Bull blowout's where you bring the 50 states together with a lot of cowboys from all different states and bulls from different stock contractors. We bring it here twice a year for everybody to come and enjoy right here in Murray, Kentucky. You know, bull riding is an exciting sport, the most dangerous sport in America. That's where we're gonna to try to run some of the best bulls that we can pick up around this part of the country, run them underneath the bunch of the boys that we think that can ride as good as this part of the country, let everybody kind of shoot it out, chew it out, let winter take all right here this weekend. So it's bull, bull out. That's what it is. We're going to blow it out. We're going to let them all have a big time and I hope the crowd has a big time. Everybody gets to see something. I've been doing this since 1995, announcing rodeos all over the country. And I've been doing the bull blowout right here in Murray for probably the last 10, 12 years. My role is to keep the play-by-play -play going in the bull ride, just like you would at a basketball or baseball game. I keep it going here with the music and uh, entertainment to all the folks here. I myself was in the stock contractor, road stock contractor business and been judging now. For, uh, this has been going on for 20 something years and I've been up here just about every year that they've had it. The bull blowout has been a staple of the Expo Center since the mid 90s. We have had bull blowout at the uh, Murray S Expo Center since 96. It started out to be a uh, annual event for a couple of years and then we went to a, a semi-annual or bi-annual event. Well, we sure do appreciate, they have such a nice facility here that uh, they you know, allow us to uh, uh, rent it out. And uh, you know, we bring people to uh, Murray State that maybe have never seen the college or this uh, you know, arena. And so we bring a lot of people here and so uh, it's a nice facility. Uh, competitors, we can have anywhere from 100 to 150 a night. Um, uh, as far as the audience, uh, you know, we always have a good crowd. Uh, you know, I'd say anywhere from 1,500 to 2,500 we should expect. At first, the bull blowout may not be the most appetizing event on your schedule, but it has more to offer than meets the eye. Yeah, I mean, that's all I got to say is just come on down to bull blowout. We're going to have big time and uh, what I like most of all is uh, the parents and grandparents are going to come in they're going to bring their kids for this, this mutton busting. The mutton busting seems to be one of the biggest deals. They come in there and be packed house. Everybody's cheering and clapping for the kids riding on the mutton busting. Really we just try to make it a, um, you know, a family type event. We want everyone to come out and, and see the event. So we make it fam family friendly. We have the funny man here to entertain. So you know, if they're not just into bull riding barrel racing, there's a lot of other things they can do the camaraderie, the people that you work with. If you can't work with people and uh, be able to help the kids that are coming along, now they're kids, because I'm 50 years old, so the kids that are coming along. And when I was started, first started doing it or whatever, I was one of the kids, and I looked up those people, now I'm trying to be one of those people that they can come to and understand that, uh, like being a judge tonight, like I am, if I say something, whatever, they don't come and kick dirt at you and him haul around with, they respect what you're doing but it takes that from the back door to the front door to understand it and being with those kind of people or whatever and watching great athletes great bulls come around i like to watch the young bulls and everything like that come up to it too but uh, i think most of all is just being around the, the folks that respect you and you have to respect them to show that mutual respect 